What's good, HHSB crew? It is your boy, the high pants sneaker beast, and I'm back with another video for you already. Y'all know why we're here, man. So if you guys actually clicked on this video, I'm sure you guys may be wondering where your package is. You may have actually received your package. I got some updates for you guys, so I want to share them with you. I dropped a video last week talking a little bit about some of the issues FedEx was having, some of the issues that Nike was having, you guys blew up the comments and a lot of people were seeing a lot of different things, so I definitely wanted to give you guys some updates a week later. So if you guys are ready to do it, let's get into it. But wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and leave a comment. Remember, you do not have to do all three, but please try to do one. Let's do it. You are So we're back, man. You guys already know what it is. I told you guys last week, one of the biggest things you had to do was just be patient. Just be patient. A lot of you guys were really flipping out, man. You didn't know where your package was. You didn't know when it was coming. Or you knew where your package was. And then that information changed. And then you called Nike and you probably got a refund. Some of you guys still got your pairs. But I'm, I'm here to tell you, I watched a lot of videos last week because I actually put the, I thought I was maybe one of the first people to put out a video about it because like I said, I had actually have experience with this pair right here. I have experience and understand that sometimes you just got to be patient. But then I start seeing a lot of other FedEx stealing packages videos pop up. You know, I've seen a lot of those come up and a lot of them were just clickbait to be honest with you. A lot of it was capping, man. A lot of people were lying. I've seen a lot of people showing boxes that were ripped open or but they still got their package or you know uh walking up and talking to fedex drivers and getting their package and saying that they tried to steal it i don't know i don't know listen man i i watched a lot of those videos and i thought some of this just seems like i just want you to watch my video i'm actually trying to give you guys information from things that i've witnessed things that i've recorded i've recorded phone calls with nike I've showed you guys my, my information for you know what was happening with my FedEx packages in, in my older video. And then also, like I said today, if you guys will see here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up a couple of things on the screen just for you guys to see. A lot of you guys that were actually in my comment section saying, hey, I'm going through the same thing. You guys actually got your packages. These guys actually got their packages. So a lot of the times you guys on these hype releases, it takes a little bit of time to make sure that the right package is getting where they're supposed to go. And when things say they ship out, they may not necessarily ship out. Maybe a label was just created. I had an incredible comment from an actual UPS driver who really broke it down. He's been doing it for 25 years. Who broke it down some of the things that was happening. And it really wasn't saying that they were stealing packages. Now, on the other end, there was also an, another employee who let me know Sometimes they are getting paid by these botters or people who, you know, or resellers to just drop them off the package and they get paid pretty handsomely. So I'm not gonna say that FedEx does not steal packages. I'm not gonna say that Nike doesn't lose packages. But what I'm saying is in 90 to 95% of the time, and that's just my estimate, all you have to do is be patient. So you guys don't understand that FedEx and Nike systems aren't necessarily cohesive. They don't, they're not, they're not on the same, they're not together. You know, they're not together. So when Nike says that they created a label or shit something out, you know, FedEx may not even have the package yet. FedEx may not even even picked it up. And if FedEx is saying that it's it's you know shipped out and Nike is saying that you should get it in tomorrow they may not it may not even have even left yet it may not have even left fedex yet so those systems don't really talk to each other so a lot of the times it really is a crapshoot the one thing that i do really believe is when you get information that says hey your package is in route okay that means that at least maybe it's on a truck okay so a lot of times like i said you guys just need to be patient but i did want you guys to get some updates and see that a lot of issues that people were having have actually been resolved and some people have lost their packages i've actually seen uh some people who say that they received their off-white dunks without that outer lace or they were missing a hang tag that's a completely different issue that's a completely different story 
I don't even really know what to say about that. Hey, like I said, I told the guy, man, you can make your own lot now. Maybe go ahead and purchase one of those, um, you know, less expensive pairs of off-whites from Goat or something like that. Get that tag, get your outer lace, and make your own lot number. I think that'll be pretty dope. That's actually something that I'm interested in doing myself. But man, I just wanted to talk to you guys today because I know that was a huge issue. A lot of people were still waiting on Travis Scott's. That release happened, what, two weeks ago? A lot of people were still waiting on Travis Scott Lowe's and even those guys got their pairs. And I'm talking about the guys from the Bleacher Report community. Like I said, I, I, I really re uh, refer to BR Kicks community a lot because that's where I go to share some of the information that I that I have and that's where I get a lot of feedback and information from people from the BR Kicks community. And a lot of those guys actually got their pairs, I think this weekend. So. There is hope, guys. There is definitely hope. Whenever you run into an issue, the first thing to do is just be calm. You already paid your money. That money is paid. So don't be quick to go out and get a refund because you can always get that money back. The expiration on a refund is not gonna go up, you know, go away if you have not received your package. So just wait on it, chill on it. Usually I say about a week or two. You guys haven't heard anything in about a week or two then i would say hey man start reaching out to nike and let's maybe coordinate um coordinate a refund but like i said wait as long as you possibly can if you really need the money and you need the funds obviously go ahead and get that refund as soon as possible but in my opinion that money's spent i don't care let it could it could take a month for me i don't care i just want my hair but again it is your boy the hype head sneaker bees i'm always here for y'all i got you if you need any information make sure you come to the channel Figure it out. I'm sure I got some sort of video on how to help you guys out. But again, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Drop a like and leave a comment. Remember, you do not have to do all three, but definitely try to do one. Until next time, it is your boy. I'm going.